Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to replace your existing thermostat with a smart thermostat like we've got here. So this is a Nest Generation 3 smart thermostat. We're going to show you how to install this smart thermostat, but this will work also for the Nest E thermostat, uh, the Nest Generation 2 thermostat, and actually a fair amount of other smart thermostats. So the very first thing before you get started on any of this installing a smart thermostat is you have to turn off the power to your existing HVAC system. So there are two ways to do that. You can either turn it off at your HVAC system, typically there's a light switch there, or you can turn it off at your circuit breaker. So we're gonna show you both ways to turn off your power to your existing thermostat. So what we've got here, this is the HVAC system. And on the side of this HVAC system, you can see there is a light switch that is on right here or off. Sometimes it's labeled, sometimes it's not. But uh, this light switch here controls the furnace and HVAC system. So this is how you would turn this off. Typically, these light switches are found right on the side of the HVAC system. Or sometimes there's a light switch in the same closet or same room that turns this on or off. Now, the best way to test this to make sure that you've got it off is to turn your HVAC system on so that it's either blowing hot air or cold air and then flip the switch. And when you flip the switch, you will be able to hear that system turn off and you will know that you have turned off the HVAC system. The other option for turning off the power to your existing thermostat is to go to your electrical panel. So you're just going to open this up and typically on the inside of the electrical panel, there will be a label telling you what does what. So on this electrical panel, they did label it and we can see right there that number 12 is the furnace. So we will just go over to the electrical panel and look for the circuit breaker labeled number 12, which is this one right here and we would turn it off and that would cut the power off to the existing thermostat. Like I said, the easiest way to confirm that it's off is to make sure that you have your HVAC system running and then listen for it to go off when you flip this circuit breaker. Once you've done that, you are ready to get started installing your new smart thermostat. With the power off, we can now remove the existing thermostat. Now, these remove in a couple of different ways, depending on the model. The first thing that I would typically do is open up the cover and see if there are any screws there. Next thing I would do is inspect around the upper edge, the side edges, and the bottom, and see if there's any tabs that hold this on. If you see any screws, typically you want to remove them. On this one, I can see that on the side of the thermostat, it has some tabs, and I can pry this off and it will now expose the cover to the existing thermostat. Now, take a minute right now and really focus on what you need to do. You should take a picture of the existing wiring on your existing thermostat before you go any further. I can't stress this enough. Taking a picture will let you know what wires go where on your existing thermostat so that if you have to go back to it, you will have no problems. It will also help you when you go to install your new Nest thermostat. So go ahead and take a picture now of your wiring. On your actual thermostat, what you'll see is there are labels typically by each one of these wires. So up here there is a W, that is the white wire. Up here is an RC and an RH, and that is the power wire. Down here, we've got a G right here, and that is the green wire. And we have a blue wire, which is connected to Y. Now, for some of you, you will have a yellow wire connected to Y. Some will have a blue wire. What is really important is not so much the color of the wire, but the designation of that wire and what the letter designation is. Each one of those letters designates something different. The reason that the color may be different is that that day at the hardware store, whenever whoever was installing this installed it, they may have just had wire that either had blue in it or yellow in it or a number of colors that didn't match the typical numbering and coloring scheme for thermostat wires. We've got all kinds of videos that show you exactly what these wires mean, but if you take a picture and make sure that you note what these wires are, 
in terms of the letter designation, you should have no problems hooking up your new Nest. So for us, in a four-wire Nest thermostat configuration, we have W, which is white, for heat. We have R, which is red, for power. And we have green, which is G, for fan. And we have blue, which is Y, which is for our air conditioning. Now, what we can do is remove these wires. All I have to do is unscrew each one of the terminals that the wire is connected to. After that, I can gently pull these away. Now, remember, you want to have the power off for this. So, ensuring that the power is off, you don't have to worry about these wires if they touch. But if you didn't turn the power off for whatever reason, if you touch these wires, you run the risk of actually shorting them out and blowing the fuse in your furnace, which is not that big of a deal. You can replace the wiring or the fuse inside the furnace, but avoid that altogether just by turning off the power to your HVAC system. Now you can see there are two screw holes here. That is what is holding the existing thermostat on the wall. So all I do is remove those existing screws and now, once I remove these screws, I should be able to pull this off of the wall. Now is a good time, if you like this video so far, to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe. And if you want to support us, click on any of the links below. We have a website, onehoursmarthome.com, that has all kinds of smart home tips, tips, and reviews. And you can also go ahead and click on any of the links below that have our courses on them that teach you how to automate your home or help you learn more about home improvement. So thanks for watching and we'll keep going here. Now that you've got these wires removed, the next thing that you need to do is install the Nest thermostat. So to do that, all we're gonna do is take our wires and slide them over the existing hole where those were. Inside the Nest package, you're gonna find this cover plate. You're going to find a couple of screws like so, and these are drywall screws which can go right into drywall. The other thing that you've got is the Nest base plate. So you don't have to install this if you want. You can install the base plate right on the wall. But the issue for me is that I've got too much of a hole here, it won't cover it up, and I would have to paint and patch, which you're more than happy to do, but you don't have to. That's why they've got these handy dandy cover plates. Now, if you've got a problem where you don't have a big enough base plate, there are other base plates on Amazon, which you can find, that are big enough to cover this hole and are larger sizes. So we'll put a link to those below. And that is actually one of the things that I first started making on Amazon. Now there's probably 20 people that uh, do that, but way back when, uh, I saw there was a need for this because Nest thermostats, uh, sometimes on brick walls and stuff like that, you really didn't have a cover plate that properly fit them. So just a side note there. Now you've got to get this base plate on top of the cover plate, and then you can screw these screws in. I like to get both of them started just to kind of hold it in place and then you can use a screwdriver or a drill to install these. Now, I know that it is quicker to use a drill, but I like to do it with a screwdriver just to show everybody that you don't need to have all kinds of tools to install a Nest thermostat. And sorry for my hands blocking the camera here, but it's a little bit hard to get good shot when you're this close so that you can see everything. So now one of the things before you tighten this all the way down is to check the level on the Nest thermostat. You can see the bubble there and I know that's pretty darn close to level. So I'm going to leave it as is. Now the next thing that we need to do is take our wires and put them in the appropriate holders for the wires or the appropriate terminals. So we know which wire goes where because we took that picture earlier. If you've got your picture, go ahead and open it up and refer to it. But we're gonna put the G wire in the G terminal. And the other thing, before you install these wires, sometimes it's a good idea to kind of shove the excess wire back in the wall so that you're not gonna have anything sticking up too much that won't let the nest seat properly. So now I'm going to put my G wire in here, the green wire, which is the fan control wire. And I'm going to install my white wire right here, the 
W wire. And that W wire controls my uh, heating. Now I'm going to install the blue wire, which is the Y wire, and that is my air conditioning. Now the last wire that I'm going to install is my RH wire, and that is the power wire, which is providing power to the thermostat. Now all I have to do is go ahead and put the thermostat back on top of this. You just click it on and it kind of holds itself in place there. Now all I need to do is go back to the furnace, turn on the power, and this thing is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do once you turn the thermostat power back on at the HVAC system or at your circuit breaker, the Nest is gonna go through a startup sequence. I think kind of all these graphics are unnecessary and it doesn't add any value. It probably makes it take longer to turn on the Nest, but go ahead and watch a video. It looks kind of cool. So what this is doing is powering up the Nest thermostat. Some of you, it will take longer than others. Sometimes these things sit in a box a long time and that affects how long it takes them to power up because the internal battery may be drained. Other times your HVAC system may not put out as much energy as the Nest likes, so it might take a little bit longer also. In order to compensate for that, you can actually charge the thermostat on the back. There is another port back there that will actually connect to a micro USB cable, or you can just let it sit for a few minutes if it's taking a while. If you are still having problems with low power on your Nest thermostat, watch one of our other videos on how to add a common wire and diagnosing low power issues with the Nest thermostat. Now we can get started setting up. Here on the Nest, you can see we have our choice of different languages, uh, German, English, Espanol, French, Italiano, and Netherlands. So we're gonna choose English right here. Go ahead and confirm our choice, and this will start setting up the Nest thermostat. I click on equipment, and now I have a choice between am I Nest Pro, homeowner, or pro. I'm just going to say homeowner, which is what most of you would do. Now on here, it's going to show you your different equipment connected and detected. Y1 is our cooling, G is our fan, W1 is heat, and RH is power. Go ahead and confirm if this is correct. Click continue. It says your system has heating, cooling, and fan, which is correct. And for most four wire systems with a Nest thermostat is the correct designation for setup. So we go ahead and click continue again. What is the fuel source for your heating? If you have a furnace and an air conditioner, typically you're going to have gas. Now, some of you may live in a condo or have a heat pump and then it would maybe be electric for your heating source. It's pretty easy to determine if you get a gas bill, most likely you have gas. If you do not get a gas bill, you probably have electric. Now there are some of you that live in the country that would have propane or oil and a rare minority of you that would have geothermal. So we're gonna go ahead and click gas. What type of heating do you have? If you have a traditional furnace and HVAC system that blows air, you would have forced air. The other option is in-floor radiant, which is typically either electrical or water-powered radiant heating. We've got forced air, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. It says Nest app. The next part of this is going to go to your Nest and your Nest app phone. So all you need to do is download the Nest app on your phone and you can get started installing it on your phone with remote control. We're gonna go ahead and click continue here. It says use a recent version of the Nest app. To get started, use the entry key or QR code below. So either way, you can scan the QR code that will pop up here or you can put the entry key in. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the QR code because that's easy enough. Now I'm just gonna take my phone with the Nest app that I have installed and go ahead and scan this. So I've got the Nest app here on my phone and it shows some of the other devices that I've got. Setting up the Nest app is easy. All you have to do is download the Nest app from the Android or iPhone or Apple store and get it on your phone, put in a username and password and you are ready to go. Now to set this up, all I do is click in the settings button over here in the upper right, and it's gonna have all kinds of different settings. I scroll down and I wanna click on add a product. 
So I click on that and now it's going to give me a scanner and I can go ahead and scan the code and it will start showing up on my device. All right, now it will either walk you through, which we've already done, or you can say already installed, which is what I've done. Now the app is going to go through a setup process to connect the Nest to the app so that we will have Wi-Fi connected to our thermostat. If you already have other existing Wi-Fi devices connected to your Nest app, you might not have to enter your Wi-Fi network and password. If not, you will probably have to enter that information. So we'll just let this keep setting up and adding it to our Nest account. It says add it to your Nest account. Use the Nest app to continue setting up your thermostat. Since I already had Wi-Fi connected, I didn't have to answer the questions for my network. But if you don't, it's pretty simple. Just enter your network and uh, password and you are good to go with the Nest thermostat. Next, and it says, where would you like to put this thermostat? I'm just going to say, this is in our living room. It says how you use auto schedule. It will walk you through all these different features on the Nest. I'm not going to go through that in this video, but I will put a link to another video which shows you extensively how to use the Nest thermostat and all the features. So I'm just gonna click through this. Choose your eco temperatures, which are the temperatures that let you pick a range so that you can save energy when you have your Nest installed. Once again, I'm just gonna click right through this because I already know how to do this and we have an extensive video that shows you this. However, if you were going to adjust this, I would recommend choosing an eco temperature that is not so low that you would have frozen pipes if you live in a cold climate and not so hot that your house is 100 degrees. Typically, if you put it around 80, you're going to save a ton of money with your eco temperature or you could go up to 85 maybe. Now we're gonna click next and go through this. It says choose which mode your thermostat should use today. You've got heating or cooling. Right now we're in heating season here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click heating. You're all done with setup. Follow the steps on your Nest thermostat display to run a test, and now I click done. Now you can see the Nest thermostat appears on the app here, and I can change the temperature right from my app, and it will appear on the Nest. Just give it a few seconds. Let's see what it's got going on here. I click continue, test now, heating, done, 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 done. And you could run through all the other tests, going for cooling, fan, and the other options. I already know these all work, and now you can see the Nest will respond on the phone to whatever temperature you wanna set it to. So thank you for watching, and please like this video, please subscribe, and if you want to support us, uh, click on any of the links below or go ahead and sign up for one of our courses or the waiting list to one of those courses or buy one of our products online for smart home switches and smart plugs that allow you to control your devices with your phone and or with your voice using Google Home or Alexa. So let's see it again. There we go. And let's watch the thermostat turning on. Magic. Thank you for watching.